dear friends. Let's begin today's practice in a comfortable sitting position. You can cross your legs or transition into half lotus or lotus. Maybe you can sit on your knees, spreading the weight evenly between your left and right sit bones. Elongating the spine, reaching the crown of the head up, slightly leaning your torso back. Relaxing your shoulders, relaxing your face muscles, your cheeks, your jaw, your tongue. Beginning to bring your attention inward, arriving to your practice, focusing on the present moment. Observe how you feel today. If there are any areas of your body that need special attention, that need healing. Observe how your heart feels. Your mind. You are breathing in and your whole body is present. You are breathing out and your whole body is present. You are breathing in and your whole body is present. You are breathing out and your whole body is present. Breathing in deeply. Every cell of your body is present. Breathing out. Keep breathing in and breathing out. Staying connected to your body. Staying connected to the present moment. Open your eyes gently and begin making big circles with your torso. Inhale, leaning forward and start rolling to the right. Exhale, back, left. Inhale, forward. Doing a couple of more at your own pace. Observing how your back body feels today. and changing the direction. And now lean forward as low as you can. Inhale. And as you exhale, start pressing your palms into your thighs or just have them on the knees and round the back, tuck the chin into the chest. Inhale, start lifting through the heart, squeezing your shoulder blades, folding forward. And exhale, round. Inhale, forward. Exhale, round. Inhale, forward. Exhale, round. Inhale, forward. Exhale round. Bring your left palm on top of the right knee, right palm right behind you. Inhale, lift through the heart and send your gaze over your right shoulder. Nice and gentle twist. Keep lifting your crown of the head up towards the ceiling. Keeping your shoulders over the hips. 
your spine is in a nice straight line and now if you can lift your right arm up and lean towards the left side keep your chest lifted towards the ceiling keeping your both sit bones on the mat and keep reaching your right knee towards the floor inhale and exhale return back to neutral bring your right palm on top of the left knee inhale lift through the heart and find a gentle twist here keeping your spine tall sending your gaze over your left shoulder and breathing staying connected to every cell of your body being present inhale lift your left arm up and lean back keeping your chest lifted towards the ceiling collarbones are open inhale start rising up exhale return back to neutral fold your torso forward bring your elbows to the floor if you can if you're not able to bring the elbows down walk your palms forward lifting the wrist and breathe you can lower your forehead down to the floor Relax your upper body, your shoulders, your neck. Inhale, lift the torso up. And now bring your right shin a little bit forward, parallel to the front of the mat, and fold forward one more time and observe how it changes the stretch on your right hip. You can lower down all the way, trying to keep your right foot flexed. Inhale, lift the torso up. And now change the cross of the shins. If you were in half lotus, take your half lotus on the opposite side. Bring your right palm to the floor. Inhale, lift your left arm up and maybe lower your right elbow to the mat. Reach your left fingertips to the right side of the room. Send your gaze up towards the ceiling. Inhale, rise up and switch sides, lower your left palm down, lift your right arm up and maybe lower your right left elbow to the floor. Keep your chest open, shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, rise up and now fold forward, lowering your elbows towards the mat. Maybe your forehead to the floor. Inhale, lift the torso up. Let's find our twist one more time. Bring your left palm towards the right knee, right palm right behind you. Inhale, lift through the heart. Exhale, find your twist. Inhale and exhale, gently release and twist to the left. Now interlace the fingers right behind you and lift through the heart, squeeze your shoulder blades, roll the palms away towards the back of the room, lift through the heart, inhale and exhale, start folding forward, sending the palms to the front of the room. If you can keep your wrists closed, please do so. Inhale, rise up, lift through the heart. Exhale, fold forward. Use the core. 
to lift the torso up. Inhale and exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, start rotating the chest to the right, sending your arms to the left. Feeling a nice stretch on your right shoulder, right arm. Keep your chest lifted. Inhale and exhale, return back to center. Inhale and exhale, twist to the left. Reach your arms back and to the right. Inhale and exhale, release. Bring the palms towards the knees. Inhale, lift through the heart. Exhale, round the back. Inhale, lift through the heart. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. One more lift. Exhale, round. Inhale, go back to neutral. And now bring your right ear towards the right shoulder and stretch the left side of the neck. If you wish, you can bring the palm towards the head and just apply a gentle push, but not too much. Just control the stretch and breathe, staying connected to each and every cell of your body, being present, being in the now. Inhale and exhale, lift your head back to neutral and now reach the left ear towards the left shoulder. You can bring the palm on top of the head. Keep sending your right shoulder down towards the floor. Inhale, return your head back to neutral. And now just rotate the head from side to side. Feeling a nice stretch on the side muscles of your neck. Now, as you turn the chest, as you turn your head to the right, now start bringing the chin towards the shoulder and then lift it up. Inhale and exhale, lower. Inhale, lift the chin, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Inhale, return back to neutral. Turn the gaze to the left. Inhale and exhale, reach the chin towards the left shoulder, but don't lift the shoulder up, send the shoulder down. Feel a nice stretch in the back of your neck. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Lift, exhale, lower. Inhale, return back to neutral. And now lower the chin towards the chest. Bring the palms at the back of your head, not on the neck, but at the back of your head. Interlacing the fingers, you can send your, um, send your elbows towards one another. Start reaching the chin towards the chest and apply a little bit of pressure to stretch the back of your neck, finding the space between your vertebras. Try to keep your spine tall, shoulders over the hips. Keep breathing. Now lift the chin back to neutral, keeping your palms in the same position. Open your heart and squeeze your shoulder blades, sending your elbows to the back of the room. And now exhale, you can round your back and reach the elbows towards one another, tucking the chin towards the chest, rounding your upper back. Inhale, lift, open the heart. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift, exhale, round. 
Lift. Exhale round. Inhale, lift. And last one, round. Inhale, return back to neutral. Keep your palms in on the same in the same position, keeping your elbows open and just rotate the chest to the left as far as you can, stay, keeping your crown over the shoulder, shoulders over the hips. Trying to find the twist from your lower back, then your middle back, then your shoulders, and then the neck. Keeping your elbows open, keep reaching the crown of the head up, elongating the spine. Inhale and now start making uh, three little pulses to the left. Inhale and then exhale left. Inhale, exhale left. Inhale, return back to neutral. And that, that let's repeat the opposite side. Inhale, exhale, turn to the right. You may see that the other side may be a little bit more difficult or maybe a little easier. Keep your elbows open, keep your spine tall, reach the crown of the head up. Breathe. Now inhale and add a little three pulses, twisting a little bit deeper. Inhale and exhale, twist. Last one, inhale and exhale, twist. Inhale, return back to neutral, exhale, release your arms down. Now bring your left shin slightly forward, parallel to the front of the mat. Lift through the heart and start walking your palms forward, trying to keep your left foot flexed. Lowering down to your elbows if you can, maybe forward it down to the floor. Observing how your left hip feels in this variation. Inhale, lift the torso up gently and transition to a tabletop position, bringing your knees right under the shoulder, bringing your knees right under the hips, palms right under the shoulders, spreading the fingers, keeping your knees hip-width distance apart. You can curl or uncurl the toes. Inhale, start pulling the navel in, sending your tailbone up, lifting through the heart, finding the arch in your back, keeping your shoulders away and your collarbones widely open. Exhale, start rounding the back, tacking the tailbone, pressing the floor away from you. Tuck the chin to the chest. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round. And return back to neutral. As you inhale, open your chest to the right and reach your right fingertips up, finding a gentle twist in your spine, keeping your hips over the knees. So don't move the hips, don't compensate with the hips. And now exhale, swing your arm under your left armpit, touching your right shoulder towards the floor. And now inhale, lift and exhale lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Last one, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower and stay here in your thread, the needle pose. Press the left palm into the mat and push your right shoulder to the back of the room, keeping your hips over the knees. You can try the variation where you bring your left palm slightly forward and now push your left shoulder to the back of the room, extending your left arm. Observe how it changes the stretch in your upper back, in your left shoulder. Breathe here. Now extend your left arm up. 
and see if you can bend the elbow and reach your left palm towards the inner side of your right thigh. And maybe extend your left leg and send the heel back. Inhale and exhale gently, lower the knee down. Extend your left arm up, lower the palm down and transition back to your tabletop. And let's do a couple of cats and cows. Inhale, lift through the heart, send the tailbone up. And exhale, round. Inhale, lift. And exhale, round. One more, inhale, lift. Exhale, round. And return back to neutral. Now press the right palm into the mat. Inhale, open the chest to the left, reaching your left arm up, up, up. And exhale, swing your arm under your right armpit, lowering your left shoulder down to the floor. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Try not to move the hip. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. And stay here for a little bit. Pressing the palm into the mat, pushing your right shoulder to the back of the room. If you wish, just move your right palm slightly forward and now start extending your right arm, pushing your right shoulder to the back. If you wish, extend your right arm up, bend the elbow and reach towards the inner left thigh and maybe lift your right leg up and push the heel back. And when you're ready, lower the right knee down to the floor, release the bind, lower your right palm down to the mat. Bring your left palm right under the shoulder. And let's do a couple more cats and cows. Find the arch, inhale, and exhale, round. Inhale, exhale, round. One more inhale, and exhale, push the hips back, find your child's pose. When you're ready, extend your arms, spread the fingers, curl the toes, and lift the hips up, sending the tailbone towards the ceiling, reaching the heels up, straightening your legs as much as you can. And you can walk your dog bend in your knees one at a time. Reach both heels down, check how your back body feels today, your hamstrings, your calf muscles. Slowly walk your feet to the front of the mat, grabbing opposite elbows, bending the knees, staying here for a moment, relaxing your upper back, your neck, your skull, and slowly start rolling up one vertebra by vertebra at a time, bringing your shoulders over the hips hips over the heels, rooting your feet into the mat, finding four corners of the feet. Inhale, lift your arms up and find a gentle back bend if you wish. And exhale, start folding forward, reaching your arms down, bending your knees if you need to. Inhaling, lifting the chest halfway up. And exhale, step or jump back into plank, lowering your elbows 90 degrees. Chaturanga, inhale, upward facing dog, or modify into cobra. And exhale, curl the toes, lift the hips up, downward facing dog. Inhale, send the gaze forward and exhale, step, walk or jump to the front. Inhale, lift the chest halfway up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise up slowly, lift the arms up, find your back bend. Exhale, release the arms down. Inhale, lift your arms up, back bend. Exhale, fold forward. 
Inhale, lift the chest. Halfway up. Exhale, jump back, plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, curl the toes, lift the hips up, downward facing dog. Breathe here, keep sending the heels down, straightening the legs, activating your quadriceps, straightening the spine. Inhale, send the gaze forward, exhale, step, walk, or jump to the front of the mat. Inhale, lift the chest, halfway up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, rise up, lift the arms up. Find your back bend. And exhale, release the arms down. Inhale, arms up. Find your back bend. Exhale, fold forward. Inhaling halfway up. Straighten the spine. Exhale, bend the knees, step walk, or jump back into plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Stretch the front of the torso. Exhale, curl the toes. Lift the hips up, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Keep your hips squared, push the right heel to the back of the room. Inhale, lift your leg higher, and exhale, lower it down. Inhale, lift the left leg up, keep the hips squared, push the left heel to the back of the room. Inhale, lift it higher, and exhale, lower your leg down. Inhale, step your right foot to the front of the mat, finding your high lunge. Push the left heel back, lift the torso up, aligning your shoulders over the hips. Squeezing your inner thighs together, pushing your left heel to the back of the room. Breathe here. Send your shoulders down, lift through the heart. Keeping your core engaged, your pelvic floor muscles engaged. Let's do a little pulses here in our lunge. 10 reps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Hold. Now bring the weight towards the right foot. Reach the left knee towards the chest and extend your left leg. Hold. And now send the left foot to the back of the mat, returning back to your high lunge. Add 10 pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And lower the palms down, pressing your left palm into the mat. Open the chest to the right, reach your right arm up, pushing your left heel to the back of the room. Your left leg is engaged, quadriceps is strong. Breathe here. Inhale and exhale, lower your right palm down and transition to your low lunge. Lowering your left knee down and lifting the torso up. Sinking the hips as low as you can, making sure the front knee doesn't go over the toes. Stretching your left hip flexors, your left quadricep. Breathe here. Keep your palms on your lower back, fingers are facing up. Inhale, start lifting through the heart and find your back bend. Exhale, 
lifting the hips a little lower. Inhale, slowly lift the torso up. Bring your right palm on top of the right knee. Inhale, lift your left arm up. Reach the heart up and find your back bend. Inhale, rise up and exhale. Frame the foot, step your right foot back into plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. You reach the heels down, send the tailbone up. Observe the heat building up. Staying connected to each and every cell of your body, being present, being in the now. Inhale, lift your left leg up and step it to the front of the mat. Keep your back heel lifted and rise up into your high lunge. Lift your arms up, squeeze inner thighs together, keep your shoulders over the hips, lift the arms, send your shoulder blades down. Keep sending your right heel back. And now adds. And now let's add 10 little pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bring the weight towards the left foot. Squeeze the right knee into the chest and maybe extend your right leg, sending the right heel forward. And then when you're ready, bend the knee and send the right foot to the back of the mat, returning back to your high lunge. Making sure the front knee doesn't go over the toes and adding 10 little pulses. One, two, three, four, breathe. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Inhale and exhale, bring the Palms to the floor, frame the front foot, keeping your right palm on the mat, rotate the chest to the left and reach your left arm up, finding your twist, keep pushing your right heel to the back of the room. Inhale and exhale, slowly lower your left palm down to the floor and transition to your low lunge, drop your right knee down. Bending the front knee and sinking the hips as low as you can. Checking on your knee alignment. Bring the palms towards the lower back. Fingers are facing up. Lift through the heart and find your back bend, sinking the hips as low as you can. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Inhale, lift the torso up. Bring your left palm on top of the left knee. Inhale, lift your right arm up. Reach the heart up and find your back bend. Sink the hips lower. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, frame the foot, step your left foot back, back into plank, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, curl the toes, lift the hips up, downward facing dog, send the tailbone up, breathe here, keep your shoulders away from your ears. Deep Ujjayi breathing. Staying aware of your whole body. Staying connected to the present moment. Inhale, lift your right leg up and step it to the front of the mat. Drop your back knee down one more time for a low lunge 
Sink the hips as low as you can. Lift through the heart. Extend your arms up and see if you can find your back bend with both arms lifted. If you wish, you can keep your palms together. Inhale, lift through the heart and exhale. Find your back bend, sink the hips lower. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, start lifting up, use the core. Exhale, lower your arms down. Keeping the palms on the hips, sink into your low lunge. Now interlace the fingers right behind you. Find your balance. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, lift through the heart and exhale. Find your back bend, sliding your arms down. And it depends on the flexibility. Maybe you will be able to reach your uh, fingers, your knuckles towards the floor. So do your best to stay safe. Control the stretch. Inhale and exhale, find your back bend. Inhale, slightly lift the torso up, transitioning, bringing the palms to the floor, keeping your left palm to the inner side of the right foot and twisting the torso to the right and now bending the left knee and reaching for your right left foot and gently squeezing the heel towards the glutes sink the hips a little bit lower nice quadricep stretch you can gently roll from one side of the thigh to the other making sure the weight is not on the kneecap breathe here Observe what happens when you gently move, how it changes the stretch on the front of your thigh. Breathe. Maybe you can lower your left elbow down to the floor. Inhale and exhale, gently let go of the hold and bring your left, bring your right elbow to the inner side of the right foot and slowly walk your right foot to the outer edge of the mat, finding yourself in lizard. Breathing here, keeping your shoulders away from your ears, sending the gaze between the palms, keeping the back of your neck long, trying not to compress the neck vertebrae. Now when you're ready, gently extend your arms, keeping your left palm on the mat, bring your right palm to the inner side of the right thigh and gently push the thigh away from you. Observing the stretch on your outer right hip, you can let the inner side of the right foot to lift off the mat and kind of find a twist to the right. Try not to force too much. Inhale and exhale, gently release. Lift your back knee up and step your right foot back into plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, lift the hips up, downward facing dog. Deep ujjayi breathing. 
Send the tailbone up, reach the heels down, energize your legs, activate the quadriceps, press the floor away from you. Scan your body to observe how each and every cell of your body feels in this very moment. Inhale, lift your left leg up and step it to the front of the mat, lowering your back knee down, finding your low lunge, sinking the hips as low as you can. Breathing here. And now lift the arms up and see if you can find your back bend. You can press the palms together. Inhale, lift through the heart, and then find your back bend, sinking the hips as low as you can. And breathe. Inhale, rise back up. And exhale, lower your arms down, interlacing the fingers right behind you, squeezing your shoulder blades. And now, sliding your arms down and reaching your, projecting your arms to reach the floor. Inhale, lift the arms up, squeeze the shoulder blades. Exhale, and your back. Inhale, activate the core, and slowly start rising up, releasing the bind. Bringing your, pressing your right palm into the mat, opening the chest to the left, finding your twist. And now bending the right knee, you can roll your mat for support, and now reach for your foot gently, and stay here in your twist. Maybe roll from one side of the thigh to the other. Observe any changes in the stretch, in the sensations. There are so many layers of your quadriceps and at different angles. All those layers are being stretched. Maybe lower your elbow down to the floor and breathe. If you feel the stretch on, only in one spot, just visualize how it radiates throughout the whole length of the muscle. Inhale and exhale, gently let go of the hold and maybe bring your left elbow to the inner side of the left foot, making sure the front knee doesn't go over the toes. Send your gaze forward. Breathe here. And when you're ready, extend your arms. And now keeping your right palm on the mat, slowly bring your left palm to the inner side of your left thigh and just push the thigh away from you, you can lift the inner side of the foot off the mat. Keep sinking the hips a little bit lower. Inhale and exhale, gently release. Frame the front foot. Step your left foot back into plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Lift the hips up, observe the heat, observe, observe the sensations. Observe what's going on with you in this very moment. Tuck the chin, pull the navel in.
Inhale, lift your right leg up and step it to the front of the mat. Drop your back heel down and rise up for your warrior two, opening your hips and chest to the left, extending your arms, bending the front knee, sending your gaze forward. Breathe here. Inhale, flip your front palm up and exhale, reverse the warrior, keep your front knee bent. Inhale, rise back to warrior two and bring your right palm to the inner side of the right foot. Extended side angle stretch, send your gaze towards the top palm. And now transition to your bind. Send your right arm under your right thigh. Send your left arm behind you, interlace the fingers. Don't let the right knee go inward. Send your gaze up. Try not to rest the torso on your thigh. Lift the torso up. Observe the sensations on your inner right thigh. Inhale and exhale, let go of the bind. And now uh, try to bring the palms together over your head and transition into modified side angle stretch, keeping your torso over your right thigh. Inhale and exhale, rotate the chest down towards the floor, frame the front foot. And extend your front leg, step your back foot slightly forward, square the hips and lower your chest over your front thigh. Breathe here. You can walk your palms back, rotating the fingers towards the back of the room. Keep your spine long. Send your right hip back, left hip forward. Inhale and exhale, walk the palms forward, bring the weight towards the right foot and lift your left leg up, finding your standing split, reaching your left toes up, up, up towards the ceiling. And now with your right palm, try to reach for your left foot, working on your balance. Start folding forward a little deeper and maybe press the foot into the palm. Connect to your core. Inhale and exhale, let go of the hold. And now step your left foot to the back of the mat and find your low lunge. Inhale, lift through the heart and push the hips back, straightening your right leg, flexing the foot, lower the chest over your front thigh. Observe the stretch in the back of your right leg. Inhale, bend the knee, lift through the heart and exhale, push the hips back. Inhale, bend. Exhale, push the hips back. Inhale, bend. Exhale, push the hips back. Now transition to your front split, walking your right foot forward. Sending your left foot back, slowly, very, very slowly, observing how the stretch feels today. Lowering as low as you can. And then when you're ready, slowly lift the hips up and transition to your low lunge. Lift the torso up, staying here for a little bit. Observing the stretch on your left hip flexor. 
Now bending the left knee and holding onto the left foot with the left palm. Maybe bringing the foot to the crease of your left elbow. Maybe walking your right foot slightly forward to have a better balance. And now maybe find your back bend, lift your right arm up and lean back. Sink the hips lower. And exhale, gently release. Frame the front foot. Step your right foot back into plank. And exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, lift the hips up, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up and step it to the front of the mat. Drop your back heel down and find your warrior two. Send your gaze forward. Inhale, flip your front palm up and exhale, reverse the warrior. Breathe. Inhale, rise back up to warrior two. And exhale, bring your left palm to the inner side of the left foot, extend your right arm up, send it forward, gaze towards the top palm, extend it, side angle stretch, press the shoulder into the knee, knee into the shoulder. Breathe deeply. Feel each and every cell of your body. And now find your bind, send your right arm behind you, left arm under your left thigh, interlace the fingers, lift the torso up. Inhale and exhale, gently let go of the bind and prepare for your modified side angle stretch. Bend the front knee, interlace the fingers or press the palms together and align your torso over your left thigh. Use the core for support. Observe the sensations in your left leg. Keep your chest open. Inhale and exhale slowly. Frame your front foot and straighten your front leg. Step your back foot slightly forward, heel to heel alignment and square the hips. Inhale, lift the heart and exhale. Lower, lower the chest over your left legs and the gaze towards the big toe. You can rotate the palms to face the back leg and walk the palms back. Sinking a little bit deeper into the stretch and breathe. If you feel the stretch only in one little spot in the back of your leg, Maybe add a micro bend in the knee and visualize how the stretch is projecting along the whole muscle, the whole length of the muscle. Inhale, start walking your palms forward, bringing the weight towards the left foot and prepare to take your standing split. Start lifting your right leg up, up, up towards the ceiling. Trying to straighten your right leg. And maybe left, bend the right knee and reach for your right foot with the left palm. Sink a little bit deeper. Root four corners of your left foot into the mat. Activate the core. And now start pressing the palm into the foot. Lifting your right knee a little higher. Feeling a deeper stretch on your left leg. And maybe some stretch on your right quadricep. Depends how, how high you can lift the right knee. Inhale and exhale, gently let go of the hold and step your right foot to the back of the mat. Finding your low lunge. Try not to rush, be careful. Lower your 
right knee down. Inhale, lift through the heart. And exhale, push the hips back. Extending your left leg, flexing the foot and lower your chest over your left thigh. Observe the stretch in the back of your left leg. Breathe. And now inhale, bend the front knee, lift through the heart. Exhale, push the hips back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, push the hips back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, push the hips back. And now inhale, lift. And now as you exhale, start walking your feet away from one another. Using your palms for support, using the blocks. You can lift your curl the back toes and lift your right knee up and start sliding your feet away. Keeping your pelvic floor activated. Breathe here. Trying to keep your hips squared. Lower as low as you can, breathe. And when you're ready, press the palms into the mat, lift the hips and transition to your low lunge. And lift the torso up, sink the hips lower. And now prepare to bend the right knee, be careful. Maybe you need some cushioning under the knee Keep your chest lifted and now maybe bring, either hold onto the foot or slide the foot to the crease of your right elbow and sink the hips lower. Find your balance and maybe lift your left arm up and if you can, find your back bend. Maybe just a gentle little back bend. Lift through the heart. Inhale and exhale slowly. Get out of the pose safely. Extend your right leg. Frame the front foot. Step your left foot back into plank. And exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale. Upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe here, deep inhales and exhales. Observing the life in every cell of your body. Inhale, lift your right leg up and step it to the front of the mat, dropping your back heel down and rising up for your warrior two. Bend in the front knee, breathe here. And now lower your arms down. Behind you, interlace the fingers, finding your back bend. Inhale, squeeze the shoulder blades and slide your arms down. Sink a little bit lower. And exhale, fold forward, activate the core. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up, extend your front leg. Open the chest to the left. Extend your arms into a T, fix your legs alignment, 
Inhale, send the hips back and reach the torso forward and find your triangle. Extending your left arm up. Breathe here, stack the shoulders. You can have your lower palm on top of the shin, on the block or the floor. Send your gaze up and breathe. Maybe you can find your bind in your triangle. Inhale and exhale gently, let go of the bind. Transition back to your triangle. Inhale and exhale, send the gaze down, relax the neck. Press through the front foot and rise up. And now step your back foot slightly forward and square the hips preparing to do your reverse triangle. Inhale, lift your left arm up and exhale. Start turning the chest to the right and bring your left palm outside of the right foot or the block and stacking your right shoulder on top of your left. Reach your right fingertips up. Keep sending your right hip back. Sending the left hip forward, straightening both legs. And maybe you can find a bind in your reverse triangle. Maybe you can interlace the fingers. Inhale and exhale, gently release. And now bring the weight towards the right foot one more time and find your standing split one more time. Slowly start lifting the torso up, keeping your left leg parallel to the floor, keeping your right palm on the mat. Start turning the chest to the left and extending your left arm up, finding your half moon pose. Breathe here. Inhale and exhale slowly, lower your left palm down. Transition through your standing split. Inhale and exhale, lower your left leg down. Frame the front foot, step your right foot back into plank, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up and step it to the front of the mat, drop your back heel down and rise up for your warrior one. Bend the front knee, lift through the heart. Keep your shoulders over the hips. Inhale and exhale, lower your arms down. Interlace the fingers, squeeze the shoulder blades. Inhale, find your back bend, keep your front knee bent. And exhale, use the core, fold forward. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, fold, press through the front foot, lift the torso up, extend the front back, let go of the hold, and open the hips to the right, extend your arms, check on your legs alignment, and push the hips back, inhale, reach the torso forward, reach, 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 exhale, lower down for your triangle, send your gaze up, stack in your shoulders, reaching your right fingertips up. Breathing with each and every cell of your body. And maybe send your right palm right behind you and left arm under your left thigh, interlacing the fingers, finding your bind in your triangle. Try to keep your torso in one line with your left thigh. Keep your chest open. 
Inhale and exhale, let go of the bind. Return to your triangle. Inhale and exhale, send the gaze down, relax the neck. Press through the front foot, rise up. And now, step your back foot slightly forward, heel to heel alignment, square the hips. Inhale, lift your left right arm up and exhale, find your reverse triangle. Bringing your right palm outside of the left foot, either on top of the block or on top of the foot, and find the twist, reaching your left fingertips up. Breathe here, keeping both legs straight, squaring the hips. And maybe if you wish, you can attempt your bind. So twist a little bit deeper, send your right arm outside of your left thigh, fold a little deeper, and now interlace the fingers if you can. Inhale and exhale, gently release, framing the front foot, bring the weight towards the left foot and transition into your standing split, reaching your right leg up. Inhale and slowly transition to your half moon, keeping your left palm on the mat. Keeping your right leg parallel to the floor, start opening the hip to the right, pushing your right heel to the back of the room. Slowly start stacking your right shoulder on top of the left, activate the core and extending your right arm up. Maybe gazing towards the ceiling. Inhale and exhale, slowly lower your right palm down, frame the foot and transition to your standing split one more time. Inhale and exhale, slowly descend your right leg down to the floor. Inhale, lift through the heart and exhale. Step your left foot back into plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, drop the knees down. Push the hips back. You can open your knees wider. Find your child's pose. Relax. Inhale, lift the torso up. Finding yourself on your knees. Bring the palms towards the lower back, preparing for your camel. Inhale, lift the heart up and exhale. Start lowering your arms down towards the heels, pushing the hips back, dropping your head down, breathing here. You can either stay here and keep breathing, or you can try to bend the right knee, reaching the foot towards the glute, bringing the foot to the crease of your right elbow, and maybe lifting your right left arm up and back. Inhale and exhale. Slowly release. You can keep your toes tucked. And now let's do the other side. Start bending the left knee. Hugging the foot into the crease of your elbow. Push the hips forward. And maybe lift your right arm up and lean back. Push the hips forward. It's really challenging. Be careful. Inhale, and exhale, slowly let go. Inhale, lift your head back up, tuck the chin. Bring the palms towards the lower back. And exhale, push the hips back. And lower down, finding your child's pose. Relax your lower back.
slowing down your breathing. Inhale and slowly rise up. A little bit more in our camel pose. Bring the palms towards the lower back. Activate the core. You have to really activate the core to protect the back. Bring the palms towards the lower back. Fingers pointed up. And step your right foot forward. And you can keep your back toes curled. Inhale, lift your chest up, finding your back bend. And lower your left palm towards the left heel. Lower your right fingertips towards the floor and walk your right foot forward, extending the leg. And lift your left arm up and lean back, push the hips forward. Breathe. Inhale and exhale. Slowly return your palm back towards the heel. Walk your right foot forward. Transition back to your camel. Lift your head up. Bring the palms towards the lower back and slowly rise up. And prepare to do the other side. Curl your right toes. Step your left foot forward. Keeping the palms on the lower back, activate the core. Inhale, lift the heart up. Start pushing the hips forward. And now lower your right palm towards the heel. And try to reach your left fingertips towards the floor. Dropping your head down and maybe extending your left leg and push the hips forward. Feel a nice stretch at the front of your right hip. And maybe bringing the weight towards the left palm, lift your right arm up and back, finding your back bend. Keep pushing the hips forward, lift the heart up. Inhale and exhale slowly. Return your left foot back and maybe lower the knee down. Inhale, tuck the chin. Transition the palms towards the lower back. Keep your core engaged slowly, slowly. And lower the hips down. And find your child's pose. Lower down your chest to the floor. Inhale, lift the torso up. And now prepare to do your pigeon. Transition into your king pigeon. So step your right foot forward and walk your foot to the left. Dropping your right knee down, extending your left leg, squaring the hips. Inhale. And when you're ready, slowly lower down to your elbows. And if this is enough, just stay here and feel the stretch in your right hip or lower your chest and fold it down to the floor. Relax in your jaw. Observing your sensations. Inhaling, lifting the torso up. And if you wish, bend the left knee and reach for your left foot. Reach the heel towards the glute, or maybe bring the foot to the crease of your elbow, extending your right arm up, maybe interlacing the fingers, finding your mermaid pose. Trying to keep your chest gazing towards the front. Or, transition to your full expression. Bring your left fingertips to the outer edge of your 
left foot and slowly rotate the elbow out to the side, to the, to the ceiling. Being careful with your left shoulder. Lift your right arm up and reach for the foot. Inhale, slowly lift your head back up, release the foot, lift the hips up and bring your right knee to meet the left and step your left foot forward, walk the foot to the right side of the mat and lower your right knee down, left knee down to the floor, extending your right leg, squaring the hips, taking a moment to realign yourself. And then when you're ready, lower down to your elbows or your chest. Inhale, lifting the torso up and either staying here or carefully bending the right knee and reaching for the right foot and hugging the foot, bringing the foot to the crease of your elbow, extending your left arm up, maybe using your belt if you're not able to reach for the foot and interlace the fingers. And if you're ready, slowly grab your right foot from the outside, rotating the elbow up towards the ceiling. Be careful with the shoulder. Lean back, find your back bend, open the heart, and maybe lift your left arm up, bend the elbow, reach for the foot. Carefully inhale, slowly lift the head up, let go of the hold, lift the hips up. You can slowly bend the knees, lower the knees down, open your knees wider and lower down for your child's pose. And when you're ready, lift the torso up, drop the hips to the right side and extend both legs to the front of the mat. Extending your legs, energizing, flexing the feet. Inhale, lift your arms up and exhale. And exhale, prepare to fold forward, reach for your feet or your ankles. Inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, start folding forward. Stretching your back in the opposite direction. Inhale, lift the chest halfway up. Exhale, return back to seated. Now bend the right knee and find the twist to the right side. Squeeze the knee into the chest, elongate the spine. Keep your right palm on the floor. 
Inhale and exhale, gently release. Extend your right leg, bend the left knee and find the twist to the left. Elongate the spine, exhale, twist. Inhale and exhale, release. Inhale, reach your arms up and exhale, fold forward one more time. Inhale, rise up and exhale, return to seated, bend the knees, hug the knees and rock your back forward and back, massaging the spine after all your back bends. And if you wish, you can roll straight into your halasana, sending your legs behind you. Breathe, you can bring the tops of the feet on the mat. Maybe bend the elbows, bring the palms towards the lower back and reach your legs up towards the ceiling. Slowly lower your legs down, extend your arms, and as you exhale, start pressing your spine down, one vertebra by vertebra at a time. Lowering your legs. Bend the knees into the chest, and send the knees to the left, sending your arms into a T position, gazing to the right. And return your knees back to center, send your knees to the right, gazing to the left. Inhale, return your knees back to center, drop the feet down and open your knees out to the side, finding your butterfly, bringing the right palm to your belly, left palm to your heart. Slowing down your breathing, preparing to finish the practice. Relaxing each and every cell of your body, being aware of each and every cell of your body. Extend your legs, mat with the wider apart, extend your arms, palms facing up. Aligning your chin with your forehead, shoulders away from your ears, slightly tuck your shoulder blades under. Make sure your lower back is in neutral position. Scanning your body to make sure each and every part is relaxed. Focusing on your third eye area. Bring the tip of the tongue to the roof of your mouth. As I breathe deeply in, my whole body is filled with peace and love. As I breathe deeply out, my whole body is filled with peace and love. As I breathe deeply in, my whole body is filled with peace and love.
As I breathe deeply out, my whole body is filled with peace and love. Keep breathing and keep repeating this affirmation in your mind. Slowly return back to your natural breathing. If you wish to stay in Shavasana for a little longer, you can stay as long as you wish. If you're ready to finish the practice, begin to wake up your fingers, your toes. Bend the knees, squeeze the knees in towards the chest. And roll them to your right side, taking your fetal position. and slowly building your way up to a sitting position. Taking a moment to observe how you feel after the practice. Slightly lean the torso back, keeping your spine straight. Thank you for joining me for this practice. I hope you feel great. Your back and heart are opened. Let me know how you feel after the practice. Comment, press the like button, share with your friends. Until we meet again, namaste.